All right, we're getting the uh, timing kit stuff ready to go. Yee yee. See? No, Tristan, that's the old can key. Yeah, not... sealed in a new bag. So we need the key. We need to put that on. Oh yeah, let's put the key on. So we're gonna be putting the timing stuff on. Basically, you just wanna get a top dead center. So piston one right at the top. We need the cam key on. We'll put the cam gear on it. <clears throat> and then the, uh, the chain. That'll drive it. So this goes on back to line up this thing. Wait. You know, before this, maybe we should like... Uh, what? Do what? Can't really put on the rear cover to keep the cam from sliding. Yes, you can. Can we? I already, I'd done that before on the other motor. Was that a huge no. fucking issue with this? I doubt it. No. Oh, with that? No, definitely not. Not the so it's not in the way that that no. much. Yeah, yeah, cam key. Does it go in a particular way? No. <clears throat> All right, and we're back. We did it perfectly. Got that in there. Now, which way does this go on? Which way do you think, like? Um. Because it's got holes which look like this, so. Looks like it's been touching that side, possibly. That one goes on. Does the this go, oh yeah. With how it lines up, I think this, this goes behind it. Ah, uh, yeah. Probably just like that. Yeah. I, don't, I just don't even remember, but yeah. That's true. Here. There, I'll hold it from the back. Here, push, push it on. There, oh, perfect. Yep, that sits on in front of it. Actually, maybe we should. Here, uh, I got maybe this. Maybe we should have the chain on that first. Maybe. Before Here, push the cam forward. I don't know how far it needs to go. That's about as good okay. as. Okay. It's probably good. Lines up with these. So. And then there's a dot. So this cam needs to rotate to the bottom. There's a dot right there, actually. So we're pretty much lined up. I might need to adjust this a little bit. <clears throat> Okay, so that's top dead, and that's top dead. So they're lined up. Yep. Okay. So now we just need to get the chain on. You're binding it up and breaking it. What the hell? Okay, we might have to take Yeah. Them. We'll see. We've actually never put Single chain One on. of these back on there. <laughs> the magnet is like, hold on to it. Because there's enough slack where you can get it. You can almost do it by, yeah. You can uh, almost, almost do it. Oh, oh my God. It's on, so. Oh, okay. The cam's actually not in a bad spot, so. Yeah, push it forward. Yeah. Okay. So that's kind of how you do it. Basically, you rotate the engine until piston one is at the top. You'll see the dot on the gear right there and a dot on the cam gear. And uh, that's top dead center, perfect timing. So we need to get the bolt on. Yeah, that, that almost touches, holy shit, I'm surprised it doesn't. It's close, this is fine. So now we need to get the bolt on and then we need to torque it down. I recommend doing this with the uh, the rear cover on so that you'll have the cam moving yeah, back and forth. Yeah, that's true. I highly recommend that. It's kind of tight back there, but you can get the cover on just so it doesn't back out. How's it coming over here? Damn, that's looking sparkly, actually. It's looking really good. This whole thing's getting paint, too, so it'll be nice. Get all the decks cool out of there. All that gross oil. Oh, yeah, this is going to need a tensioner, too. Yeah, we have that. Yeah. Hmm. One of these, also one of these chains is a uh, different color. I don't know if you're supposed to match this up somewhere. Chains? Yeah, this chain is a color here. I don't think it matters. Oh. The chain doesn't matter. The chain can go on whatever way, as far as I know. The uh, All that matters is lining up this cam gear, or this crank gear and the cam gear. But we'll, we'll you know, reference it before we do anything crazy. I don't, do you even see it on there? Is that? No, that's the different color one right there. Yeah, I do. 
do see that for sure. Maybe it just aids with lining it up. Yeah, it's only on one side. Still on the other side. I mean, honestly, I don't think it matters which way it goes on. I mean, it's just the chain. It's the gears that matter. Yeah. All right. Also, the magnet. It's important to have a magnet in here because your cam position sensor reads from that. If you break we, it, it's expensive. We it's almost 40 bucks. we almost forgot to do that on Project F. We had to tear it back down to put the uh, the magnet back in. We accidentally broke one of these little uh, tabs. These little tabs. We ended up epoxying it back together, but it is forty dollars if you break it or forget it, lose it. So recommend not doing that. Or the the engine will actually just freely spin like the. Uh, like the fuel's not going to it, and it will just not fire up. Where's this guy going? Yeah. Other tension. The, the uh, airplane. Yep. So the Project F motor has a the double timing chain, and it does not need any type of tensioner on it. It's uh, very tight, just to begin with. So we are decking the cylinder heads, uh, just getting them smooth. As you can see, uh, they are pretty gross to begin with, and. Uh, they don't need to be crazy. I mean, these ones are pretty much done, except I think I'm going to hit this right here. Yeah. And, uh, and then it feels gonna, pretty smooth on yeah. the entire thing. You just need it to be kind of like mirror like or shiny. Should be fine. Should be smooth enough. And, uh, yeah. basically that's what we did the block. Looks pretty good. You can see the shine off of it. And, uh, yep. Yeah, lots of people, Tristan, or lots of people we know actually just, uh, do this method and it works perfectly <coughs> fine. You can Google it. Yeah. And then, uh, we're going <laughs> to. Parts wash it and uh, get all the gunk that's been ground off out of it. Just quickly dry it off and then should be ready to put the new valve springs in. We're gonna clean up the valves. Ooh, I know how I'll clean up our uh, these. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Isaiah's working hard again. The rocker's all cleaned up so we can get the valve train together. Some stuff over here is drying. Isaiah's just been working on it. There's our tensioner, our oil pickup bracket, uh, power steering and front cover. So making pretty good progress and also um i did some research online and uh i've heard that you can reuse your cam bolt so i took the cam timing gear bolt off the old motor put it on here it's got new loctite on it we cleaned it up cleaned up the threads and then uh we're going to torque it to spec i haven't googled that yet but we're just going to do that also when we were putting this all together we forgot to put this on here just took it off the blown motor and uh cleaned it up and should be good to go so do we, uh, do we have the, uh, do we have isopropyl alcohol? Uh, probably somewhere. You can use that, that, uh, glass cleaner up there, right? For that? I think so. Huh. Uh, the why not, why not just parts wash be, it? Uh, it's a bunch up there. We'll bring it down here. Is it foaming glass cleaner? It is. Then it's rubbing alcohol base. That should yeah. be okay. Interesting. Or, um, go into my bottom big drawer over there. Uh-huh. And there should be some form of alcohol. I can't remember what it is. It might be denatured. It'll be in a tub. Something like this? Yeah, that's what it is. It is denatured alcohol. I'll use that. Yeah. But oh, that wait, needs to go. A, you have isopropyl as well. Cool. That needs to go into the parts washer first, though. That? I know. Yeah. I'm just like cleaning off parts of the head that I'm working ah. on. Okay. Tristan yep. always has to work the head first. Yeah. He's got to polish it off first. There's some grime on it that I don't want to, like, grind away or else that will just collect on the fucking pad and ruin it. So, I uh, got this all torqued down. We just need to do the, put the back cover on, but o otherwise it's uh, pretty much good. Still need to torque it down to the correct specs, but uh, it's uh, looking pretty good here. All right, guys, we did have to tear this back down real fast. Basically, there's a plate that goes over the cam. I'll show you that on the other motor here. This plate right here, um, just held in by two bolts, just holds the cam uh, in place. So uh, that's what we have here. We're just cleaning it up, got the bolts for it. Just gonna put that on and then put it back together. It's pretty simple. Just a tiny step back, you know, 15 minutes of just tearing it back down, put it together, put it back together. But uh, Tristan's moved on to the second cylinder head. The other one's pretty much good to go and get washed again. And uh, then we can start assembling the cylinder heads. Yeah, it's pretty shiny, honestly. It's not perfect, but I definitely do not want to take off too much material. Yeah, this feels smooth. Feels really smooth, even it though that it does. doesn't look like it in some areas. Yeah. Yeah. Bueno. Now it'll work. 
Point if it won't work, let us know. <laughs> Everyone will say it won't work. And then, uh, yep, we're just getting that cleaned up, and we'll put that back together, and we'll probably jump back once we have that. So, which which GM product do you like in your uh, driveway least the least? Your car. Which one? The Bonneville. Why? Because it's just stupid. It's stupid. Yeah. Why is it stupid? Because the fucking blew up. So? It's stupid. <laughs> No, it's it's the better of the Project GM F products. is actually cool. The Bonneville. No, no, it's the better of the GM products, I think, on uh, in your driveway. Definitely not. See, my opinion is they're both cars. They're both good. They both basically got the same engine. They're both good. Project F's better though. Nah, well, it's it is in power. some ways. In some ways, it's real world That's drive. That's as good as it's gonna yeah. be. Yeah, and then the it's, bolts. Yeah. Just being real world drive makes it a lot better, but. I don't know. I think it's the rear wheel drive, more power, bigger bigger cam, ported cylinder heads, manual transmission, rear wheel drive. It's still a V6. It's which real. is good because I have two V6s too, Tristan. Yep. Or are we going to drop it like a V8 in your uh, Explorer, dude? Never. Why? I don't want a V8 in there. I'll put my Mustang in, my engine in there. I'll be sick. Hi, everybody. Uh, we have made some quite a bit of progress. Tristan has pretty much decked the heads and cleaned up all the surfaces of got all the got all the surfaces. It's still pretty pretty bad. These need to be rewashed again, but that's fine. I'd say it's pretty much cleaned up all the engine parts that we need. Right now I'm reconstructing the front cover. We got the plate like we mentioned before there. We torqued down the cam bolt. Um, Tensioner's all on, the splash guard's all on. We actually got the AC bit on. Um, so we got the oil pump gears in and clean up all the gasket services, rewashed it. Same with this, clean up the gasket services and rewashed it. We definitely need to dry it just a little bit. And then uh, we have all new gaskets and put on the front. And um, yeah, I don't know how much more progress we want to make today. He's been fucking chugging along, cleaning every part there is to clean. He's been, Isaiah's been doing a good job. Yep. Yep, so uh, just getting this on, and we'll definitely have the front end on, I th I'd say. Um, maybe even the balancer. Just depends on how far we get with that. Yeah, just depends. I don't think we'll have the heads together tonight, but whatever. Got, uh, yeah. got that surface, got that surface like I was saying. Got yeah, this surface all done up. Top swap guide thing. Uh, just looking at, I forget what I was looking for specifically, but someone was just like, yeah, I finished it in 11 hours. But, I mean, you also have to think, like, the time that we put in is a couple hours every weekend, so I wonder how many hours we actually have worked on your Bonneville. Besides the hours of, like, This is also more of an intensive now. top swap. A lot of people don't do this in a situation where their car's blown up. They just, you know, do the top swap when it's running, so. True that. So they're easier. doing this all in the car. Yeah. Which I imagine would be easier in the car. Yep. Yeah. Definitely. Do I need to rewash the heads? Yeah. For sure, but not that one. This one. Uh, start with this one. That one's not completely done yet. All right, well, this is pretty much all ready to go. Just need to dry up some stuff, put the gaskets on, and uh, put the spring in here. Basically, the uh, pressure yeah. mm -hmm. pressure spring thing. We got this all dried up and stuff, and that sits right in there, and bing, bang, boom. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, continue working on this, and... Probably cut back once we're done. Um, have the front on the engine and everything, and some parts, trunk parts washer, and get everything in the garage, clean up a bit. We did make kind of a mess, but this is so much more working space than before, so we're using it. All right, guys, so uh, we got the front cover on and everything, lined it up with the oiled gears, got the uh, studs on for the front cover, crank position. Uh, one thing that anyone who has a 3800 motor should do is upgrade the water pump because the stock ones have stamped steel fans and they're just really dinky and really bad so, and they get eaten up by the next school yep in uh later life so we got our new gasket that we can put on got a stud there right there and uh this is the uh new one we'll put the part number in it if actually instead of us putting the part number uh if you want it go on to the spreadsheet the yep. f-body uh spreadsheet we have it's in the description in every description of every video and it's there so yep easy so you can see heavy steel fins and uh it'll flow much better than the other one because the other ones are really tiny stamped on our instagram i believe it's ours maybe mine there is a picture no with... mine has one too so yeah our instagram has a picture of the the side by side the difference. difference so uh, use that for reference. 
all new and pretty. Uh, now we just need to get the bolts off this. So uh, we'll go ahead and put it on and show you once it's on there. All right, well, uh, we actually need to get these bolts out of here to reuse it. So we'll show you the difference right here. Doing it live. The bolts are always really disgusting because they touch coolant. Yep, and you can see the difference. So that's actually pretty clean. That is actually very clean. A lot cleaner than the one that we took off Project F, but uh, you can see it's tiny stamped fins versus these giant giant ones. With it, with how this looked, or or actually with how uh, the Grand Prix motor looked, yeah. Either this is a, a, an original water pump, which is not or surprising. A or that it's just like, it proves to show like how low miles my car was compared to that Grand Prix motor. Yeah. Because, I mean, my motor was only 121,000. But you could never tell on the outside because of how gross it is. Yeah. Let's get it slimed up here. Ooh. Spicy. So I got uh, a new dowel in there. Basically, I have a roll pin assortment kit. So, uh, I mean, now it should go in. Now, Nick's proud of you boys today. Thank you, Papa. Nick, I just take you out to go get some frozen yogi. I don't think this is the one. Here, just do the tiny ones first. Okay. No, Daddy. That's the bottom. I think what you meant to say was yes, Daddy. <gasps> yes, Dut. Yes, Daddy. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, we just uh, finished up. Basically, the uh, GoPro died, ran out of battery. So uh, now it's alive again. we thought it was a uh, good idea just to finish off for tonight. It's pretty late. And uh, you got most of this front end stuff on. Um, definitely needs the rest of the bolts and that cover thing and the balancer. But then the front's going to be done for the most part. And uh, yep, we have just more to do. The cylinder heads are pretty much all ready to be put back together. They're just going to sit here and dry. Got all the uh, uh, valve train stuff all cleaned up as well. And uh, yeah, we got uh, a lot done today. I'd say next time we pick this up, this engine will get fully built. Um, yeah, there's uh, definitely a lot, a lot today, a lot of cleaning, a lot of uh, monotonous shit. So, you yep. know, yep, we got this transmission stuff. We still need to go through his uh, transmission. Uh, we got the uh, new gear ratio and billet, not billet. That'd be incredible if it was billet. 4340 steel ZZP input shaft should be good for I don't know Almost how much power horsepower so well I mean your your transmission in a hole won't be rated for that just oh. that part I mean I, how much do you think your transmission will be rated for honestly I have not enough knowledge to speculate so I would guess probably 325 I would hope more than that because I feel like that's what the body will be at so. yep well uh, we also got new shop lights in here it's usually very dark in here. The only night we, the light we have is that big light bulb that I bought. Yeah. Well, this uh, parts washer is doing its work. I don't know what we would have done without it, honestly. Can you imagine having to clean all this by yeah, hand with, like, brake clean? Like... It'd be so expensive. Oh, we'd be dead in here if we had to clean all that with brake clean? It's true, we'd be unconscious in here. <laughs> Hot boxing with brake clean. we would just open up the garage and we'd be dead. Yeah. Do it. Some candy. Put it in your bath. No, I'm good. Put it in no, your bath. I'm good. Put it in your butt. But, uh, like... Comment, subscribe, what and... I, <clears throat> what I would actually recommend you guys do, actually, is uh, take a look at our other videos, because we have a lot of good videos, and, uh, you know, take a look at that, make your own decision, like, subscribe, do whatever. Make your own decision. No! Just <laughs> like and subscribe! Every video. You have Every. to do it, because we're asking now. Al have to. Also, uh, follow our Instagram, Jerry Rig Garage. Yep. With uh, underscores in between the words. Jerry, unders Jerry underscore rig underscore garage. What a mouthful. Yep. So, uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you later.